and um, I'm a straight, white, middle-aged dumpling of a man. <laughs> My perspective on uh, the, um, the problematics of fitting in, uh, which I call the paradoxes of uh, balanced stuffing. So you know when you're a, when you're a baby, you're still the, you're kind of a round, fatty knudel, you know, uh, mostly, mostly dough. Uh, and that's how I felt, uh, fat, you know, the term being tossed around was heavy boned. Uh, which brings me to my first paradox, because, you know, how can fat and heavy boned, you know, how could I move? So, actually I didn't, I just rolled with it. And, you know, this growing dumpling of a person that I was, uh, I had a hole to fill with uh, delicious, uh, tasty and uh, inspiring ingredients. The problem was I had no technique and uh, the stuffings around or the ingredients around were, well, pretty shitty. So instead of putting a shitty prune or a shitty um, apricot inside of it, I went for the third obvious stuff, uh, which is overstuffing. <laughs> so I was in need of dopamine. Uh, I wanted to be fulfilled. Mm, that's right, you know, being full and filled at once. So, uh, you know, another paradox. You know, being in a state and process at the same time. Uh, but on, on the outside, I still was forming into this lovely and lovable and, you know, funny, heavy bone guy that I am. Uh, and that's how we dumplings form, you know. We, we stretch out into these crispy samosas and, you know, the, these glancy empanadas and raviolis and tortellinis and what have you. Uh, we have these fillings, you know, we, we form with the bellies and everything, so we just try to fill in. Um, and, uh, okay, that's the overstuffing we have talking. So, um, and slowly, you know, when you, when you kind of get older, uh, you water down to wonton dumplings. Uh, you know, the, the, you can kind of see through the whole uh, dough, so you can see the, the, the stuffing in there. Um, which um, kind of a kind of a, like a poached egg. Or, I mean, there's still structure, but it's all wrinkly. So you kind of a slowly distill into being this um, inner child of yours or inner egg. Um, and what are eggs if not biological dumplings at the end? Or, so we kind of come full circle. And you know how they say there's an inner child in all of us? Well, that's your first feeling. You know? that, was, that was my missing prune, that was, that was my overstuffing, and this was something I've been always striving for. And uh, we always try to articulate that texture and taste of that first feeling. Or, uh, so, but don't try to, you know, try to um, um, save yourself, or don't try to... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks for that intuition. Um, don't, don't try to forgive yourself, you know. Um, just try to understand that stuffing of yours, you know. Don't try to save it, preserve it, you know. It's a paradox. And we preserve that, nurture that paradox of being, you know, in a state and still in process. So, now that I know the, the way of the dumpling, you know, I can relate to others. Uh, I can tr relate to other paradoxes of relational stuffings around me. And I can start answering those big questions, you know, how, how do I relate to, you know, the natural and cultural environment and you know how how are smoothies gonna re, gonna gonna save the planet? Uh, okay. 
So now that I know empathy, I can also relate to the planetary dumping. Um, you know, we're pretty much the same. We all have this confused feelings about our inner stuffings, inner mixed stuffings. Uh, the only difference is that we're kind of a grabbing out of the planetary stuffing to fill our personal holes and putting, you know, dumping it back into nature. So, you know, what we dump back into nature, it goes into plants, and what goes into plants sooner or later goes into our guts. So we are literally filling ourselves with our own dump. <laughs> and, you know, so what, what's going to happen when there's no more stuffing? And we come again full circle. Uh, we come to the paradox of balanced stuffing. Now, you know, we dumplings come in collectives. You know, we, we, we form communities. Um, you know, more human dumplings means less natural dough. Uh, means, you know, there's no, there's less stability around the planetary dumpling. Um, but you know, there's, the planetary dumpling is constantly, um, constantly um, re recycling itself and reforming itself, you know, every now and then something we call now, you know, extension of species. <laughs> but as humans are, you know, it's in, it's, in, it's in our nature and we're so good, you know, we just like to lend a hand and we're trying to help out. Or, so, you know, that's what we're doing with our dumping. We're just, you know, helping the planetary dumping recover and uh, recycle, you know. Um, are we good? <laughs> so all I want to say is, um, you know, we have to decide if we want to, um, if we want to fade away on this planetary dump, or you know, be part of imagining a common idea of a planetary dumping that we all want to share. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you.